Using a ratchet and a T55 Torx, remove the screws on the underside of the Jeep's bumper. Using the same T55 Torx, remove the factory tow hooks and set them aside. You can also now remove the factory front bumper. With the T30 Torx, remove the two bolts from either side of the factory sway bar cover, and when you're done, go ahead and take it off and set it aside. Take the worn rock crawler front bumper and set it in place on the frame rails. Use the original screws from the factory bumper to attach the new bumper. Also, if you need to install a front license plate, be sure you do it before tightening down the bumper because you won't have access to the bolts otherwise. Before unpacking the power plant from the box, it's not a bad idea to lay a piece of cardboard down on the floor to protect the winch and the floor from being scratched. The power plant can be a bit heavy for one person, so you might want to have a friend to help you lift it out of the box. Now install the roller fair lead onto the winch mount using the supplied hardware. Tighten to the correct torque specs with an 11 16 wrench on the nut and a 5 8 wrench on the bolt head. Now let's attach the power plant to the winch mount. Lay the winch on its back and install the four square nuts onto the bottom of the power plant. With the clutch lever in free screw, feed a section of rope through the roller fairly. Attach the winch to the winch mount using the supplied hardware. Remove the sway bar bolts with a 16mm socket, then stack the supplied shims on the front of both brackets. Lift the power plant and mounting plate onto the bumper, then bolt it up. If you're going to use the factory tow hooks, reinstall the original hardware. If not, install the worn supplied bolts with the T55 IP torques. Also, reinstall the factory sway bar bolts. Now let's wire up the power plant. Take the cables and run them behind the bumper and grill. Pull the wires up through the engine bay. Then we'll run them behind the airbox and attach them to the battery. We'll need to run the air intake hose for the compressor. Pass the hose through an opening in the grill and into the engine bay. On a Wrangler TJ, the grill support makes a great place to attach the hose. Secure the hose with the supplied zip ties. Take the supplied air filter and attach it to the fitting. Then, install the assembly on the end of the intake hose. Now attach the intake hose to the back of the power plant. Install the hook through the end of the loop on the rope. Reinsert the pin, then attach the retaining clip. Bend both ends of the clip back so the hook assembly is secure. Now that we have the winch installed on the bumper, let's move on to the grill guard. You can begin by attaching the four supplied bolts to the winch mount, but don't completely tighten the bolts down. Align the holes in the back of the grill guard with the bolts on the mount. Use an 11 16 inch wrench to secure the assembly. Let's test the winch and compressor to make sure everything is wired up. Plug the remote into the left side of the power plant, then flip the knob to the compressor setting and turn it on. Now flip the knob to winch and spool out a few feet of line to make sure everything is working properly. The final steps of installation are to double check your bolts and make sure everything is torqued down to the correct specifications. Finally, you'll want to stretch the wire rope according to the instructions in the winch manual. After that, you're ready to use your winch.